And while Haiti grapples with the escalating violence, Food for the Poor is gathering volunteers to help those struggling there. CBS News Mommy's Trish Rusteka stopped by their warehouses in Coconut Creek this afternoon and shows all the work that is now underway. <laughs> Thousands of relief kits are being packed this week by volunteers for families in crisis in Haiti. Right now in Haiti, so many families are having to flee with just what they have on their back. So we provide them with a drawstring bag. We provide inside a washcloth, soap, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, also a first aid kit. About a dozen volunteers showed up today to pack these hygiene kits. In total, they're going to send 10,000 backpacks. Cindy Lang has been volunteering here every week for about a year now. She says her weeks aren't complete without making sure she's helping someone in need. We take for granted such a small essential things and... The humanitarian crisis in Haiti is getting worse by the day, and Food for the Poor hopes that these kits, along with their notes of hope, offer some peace during hardships. Being able to put my hands on something that someone is desperately in need of in that time of need just helps me connect to that humanity that I think we all yearn for and long for. And the volunteers have fun while they're here as well. They call themselves a little family. Everybody can fit in somewhere in the world helping somebody. You can, if you want to find a way to help somebody, you can find a way to help somebody. If you're interested in volunteering, you can reach out to Food for the Poor. They have volunteers every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. In Coconut Creek, Trish Kristakis, CBS News, Miami.